kind of talking about the early offense type stuff. Bring the ball up right here. Five, you're going to get to the rim. Get on that wing there. Okay, four, you're trailing. Okay. So, come right here. Come right here. So, as we, there's, there's a couple different things coming up into a ball screen that, you, that you'll be able to see as it happens, but things got to go quick, and the ball's got to get reversed quick. Okay. If it's not, anytime you handle some pressure, you're looking to change sides of the court, you're really trying to work through the opposite elbow. What I mean by that is any outlet you get, any resistance I give you, you want to change the defense. What I mean by that is he should be on his line and he should be on his line. Let's get one of them to come over in to help. Because obviously if they don't, and then we can move the ball quick. Okay? We treat our guys that aren't quote unquote big guys who play the four as a guard. So when we do breakdowns, it's really the best when they bring it sometimes because it gets them out of their rotation. What I mean by that is you brought the ball up, okay, give him the ball. He's our four, bring it up and hit him and go opposite corner, you fill in. Go opposite corner. As he goes that way, fill in here, reverse the ball, reverse the ball, you're following the ball, reverse the ball, now we're into motion. And that seems basic, but in high school when you get a four man, and he brings the ball up the court, they get frazzled, they get messed up. This is my guy, that's his guy, or whatever. But a quick reversal, and now we make them match up as the ball moves. Now obviously, as you hit here, what did you do? Hold the ball there. We went and screened right away. So we occupied this, and you came off your down screen, and you went. So, okay? But we'll do rub cuts too. I could go through a lot of different stuff. I'm not trying to we hit here, we have an ISO post if we don't have a jumper. Now, anytime it's guard to guard, we rub cut this. What I mean by that is you, you reject it and back cut, or you rub it and go tight to the rim. Go tight to the rim. And now we raise, hit, hit, raise, hit. Then you decide what you want. Like right there, you could have done a plethora of things. You could have come and back screened him. You could have cross screened. Okay? Anytime you cross screen as you cut through, we want to mess with your man. So get back there and get here. Okay? So as you cut through and we reverse the basketball, we just want to mess with your, you're going to go down screen, right? You just raise and get the ball. So now when you see this, you just raise and get the ball. And now you down screen and you see him on top of him, that's just a tight curl back to your, back to your corner. It's nothing. Because all we did was, what are they told to do? Your man, open up and stop this. And if he's opening up, he's raising. Now you've got your three, now you've got your ability to go. So we have a lot of different rules, but they're simple rules. And so as you go and you build off of those things, um, it really helps. And it helps from a decision-making standpoint. And a lot of times when guys, they get that way, they push the basketball, they have fun with it, but it's theirs. I think you have that ownership, but the decision-making um, is the best.